So, hello, and uh, this is yet another tutorial on Keen, the small tips, not the Keen in general. And let's let's assume that we have some basic key and um, this is a background and this is a foreground so I'll just limit uh, the part of this key um, let's, let's try to to pull as much as we can as much details as we can from this hood it's a fury hood and you see there is um, very tiny hairs. Oh, well, I, I, I did uh, I did very basic key setup, which includes the the crop itself, the key light, key light. Then I just you know play a little blue and I just create the alpha, and I copy the alpha channel to the dispute versions of this and then I just pre-multiply it here. Yeah. Um, as I uh, already mentioned in my previous tutorial that uh, these sections are basic light warps I just you know we can not use them but if they're already there, why should we put it in the integrator or if we had better to the background? Yeah, so this is just a tiny, tiny, well, this one doesn't work at all. A little bit. Alright, so but uh, you see the problem that uh, we during the blur and the gradient we lost a lot of this here because if we compare it to the previous, see how much here we lose. And this is common scene when you try to get rid of the noise you have to um, sort of tighten the alpha. And it just eats out all the all the small details. So, but how could we restore this tiny black hairs on the hood? Um, one way to do this would be the um, to add this uh, footage, which is which is this one, right on the background. So. If we copy, actually I never copied this one, I just, you know, cloned it, so I just, um, it reduces the, the load on the comp, so you see this, we'll see this is, uh, means it's a clone, and um, once we clone it, we could um, try to somehow manipulate the background, this is a background, so we have this tiny hairs back, right? So um, what we could use is um, first, first of all, we could desaturate it. If we apply the saturation and uh, reduce it to zero, right? just uh, leave all the details. Now, but now they are black and white, right? So what, what? How does it help us to restore the details? Um, what we could do is we could um, merge it with the background, right? And now we don't have background draw at all. See, just cover this up completely. Why don't we use the multiply? Now we have the have the details but the background is drastically changed 
just got darker. So to to compensate for this multiplication darkness, we could just increase this one, right? So if we grab the area, we know that multiply by one gives you the, the original number. If you multiply something by one, it just doesn't change, right? So if we if we achieve those values to be around one, the multiplication won't affect the, the background. So how can we do that? So we could just follow these numbers and try to, try to get to one as close as possible. And on the other hand, we just produce this one. We clamp the whites. Yeah. And now what we could see is it doesn't change. This small is the tracking markers, it just should be removed. But as for the hairs, we see almost all here. And we can change it. We can change this. Let's have a look on the final comp. Yeah, so we have this, this effect. Of the, we could just, you know, make it slightly less, slightly less, and um, well. Well, what else we could do is just to merge it with the constant. Sometimes it works really better. Now we have if we the plus. Now we have here one here. Here almost two, and here one. What we see here is that the multiplication. And once we reduce it, This one, right? Yes. Doesn't change at all. This one doesn't change at all. So we carefully adjust it the values we get. Alright, so you see now what what we have here is the another way to Add some details to the background, right? And nobody will would ever see how did you add this. That's it's actually not the true key. It's just you know. But you could call it a key because we uh, separating the channels by desaturation and grade. But uh, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit different from the traditional key, right? So, <laughs> all right. So uh, without it, it would be like this. With this, it would be like that. And comparing to the original, there is, there is almost no change at all. 
give it a little small area. <laughs> All right. So if we put the play out, see that it works for the whole range. That's all the hairs back there. It's a little bit different if you if you have the white hair. So the blouses is itself. You just multiply the background with the, some combinations of uh, foreground, constant, grade, and so the. All right. So to repeat everything from the beginning, I have the basic key which eats out some of the details right, to reduce the noise. I put it over the background. Sorry. I put it over the background and I noticed that there is some details missing. So I just used the clone of the original footage. Um, I desaturated, graded, so you, you know, there is no rules how much you should grade it. You just grade, you just put everything together and look at the output. And uh, the, the main rule is that the area which is affecting the, the most of the background should be white. This is, means it should be one. And multiplication by one gives you one, so you don't, you don't damage the background. And then I just put it over the, over the constant works a little bit better for me. Then I multiplied the background with this combination of white and darks and it gives me some shadow on the background. It looks that it's useless but once you put everything together you will see that uh, those details just got restored. Alright, so this is without it and this is with the background multiplication. Another small tip, nothing, nothing serious. I mean, <laughs> this is not uh, rocket science obviously, but you know, if you have them in your pocket you could just make your comments pretty fast. Alright, so that was a small tip. Thank you for watching.